Hello and welcome to the Arlovsky Consulting GBR. My name is Alexander Arlovsky. I am CEO of this company. And today I would like to present the services of my company. So what we do? We do software development and quality assurance. We do help our clients to understand their requirements. We create real and very honest estimates how we do our solutions for our clients. We have experts in, in Unity 3D game development. We have experts in the cybersecurity area, both for offense and defense implementations. So if you're interested, you can reach us via following websites, our main page, our virtual forum, and lately added our social network to stay in touch with us on 24 seven basis. So contact us and i will be very happy to speak with you in person we always find solutions for our clients thank you very much hello and welcome to the workshop head first c sharp i decided to create this workshop as a supplementary to my book review which is book review of head first c sharp the reason why i'm doing this because i would like to present my solutions how i do coding and this is pretty good example to show what can be done here you see the chapters which i will present next on like uh, fund fundamental fundamental stuff about c sharp programming then switching to the unity but what is particularly really different about what I present, I will use standard approach, TDD, test driven development, write the test, then the code and refactor if needed, and then run the test again. You see the reference materials, which I will use during this project. Then here you see the documentation, which you can use during the project and my decision about id there are lots of different types of id which you can use for the c -sharp .net programming i decided to stay with the classic and familiar ides like for example in my workshop i will use visual studio 2022 20, community edition i think it's a great tool it's freely available and I will basically will learn new stuff because I am not a C sharp programmer. I'm more into the Java stuff and low coding programming. But I think it, it will be fun stuff for me to learn with you as it goes. And what about particularly important to me to, to get started and a big road ahead of us. So final words how it will go i will present the code i will present the concepts from the book head first sharp and the code you will find on the github the link you will find always under the video which i post on youtube and this is basically it thank you for watching i hope it will be a lot of fun for both of us thank you thank you thank you so as i working on the chapter reading it and understanding the code base i initially created a vpf project as the book had first c sharp described it it was kind of tedious work uh, to add all of those uh, icons uh, i don't know why it's uh, important to mention xml at the beginning of the book kind of puzzling to me it was it's bad but i think uh, this would be kind of hard to the beginner just to push into the vpf programming uh, well what i done differently in the book you find the description about how to initialize the emojis and uh, i done it too but kind of differently as you can see i have created a method display emojis which is a private 
means it's close up from the outside of this class and this allows me to invoke this uh, whole stuff in safe manner. Uh, I did not test this method because it's just responsible for displaying and it cannot be called outside of this class. So what about tests? I have here unit test. I have created a uh, unit test for the game initializer. It's a, in separate directory, but in the same solution project. I mean, provided solution here. And it works like this. This object can be tested. And if I run all the tests, test explorer, they basically pretty simple tests like I invoke setup game method on the game initializer object and expect to to receive uh, not null, meaning that there are some content. I don't know what kind of data type, but I just do primitive checking. In more complex projects where a type safety need to be guaranteed, uh, always assert for special data types which you get but for me it kind of uh, efficient here you can see my method which i using for initializing the list of the objects and does it work of course it work let me run the project and a little bit time compiling compiling Time to spin up machine. All right. And this is what you get. So basically, uh, my tests which I have written, they checking for the contents which my game initializer object producing. In the book itself, they do not cover topic of the test, but I think it's really, 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 really important to cover this stuff. And this is what you find in my GitHub repo. And do the testing. I'm not exactly sure that I will be able to test VPF UI, but I'm only concerned about so-called business logic, uh, the manipulation with data, algorithms which uh, work on data. I'm most certainly for me important that the methods which work on data which is responsible for working on data that they are doing the correct job the displaying stuff in ui kind of minor at the moment to me for what i'm reading from the book but still it's a progress and i find it kind of uh, average experience uh, to introduce it by this book in VPF. What I mean that for beginner jump into the VPF is kind of pretty uh, step curve of learning. This is not what I immediately liked, but a lot of topics uh, need to be read and this is what I get. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's finish the project and let me show you something. So, I have done following. I created class game timer for the project match match game from the head first C sharp book, and this is what I get. I created a, a class where I have almost a uh, complete logic of the timer game timer and how i do invoke this uh, in the main window i have basically created the code which handles the update it gets it's call it calls object game timer gets from that uh, the current amount of time in seconds and then I check 
this code is the same as in, in the book if I get already eight matches I stop the timer the, the important thing was like to analyze the following this was pretty important because each mouse down event need to be handled in like three different paths and each time when I have for example no match I need to update the timer and here I invoke, invoke this method which I showed previously and this code works and uh, what about interesting about tests test basically give me uh, some ideas I have here's a test I can run all of my tests so let me see run, run test takes quite a while to, <laughs> to run the tests but anyhow the important thing which I have learned the decoupling the decoupling is crucial part I'm not sure why the author of the head first book does not prefer decoupling it's kind of strange because decoupling is very utmost importance to decouple properties and behavior of classes in such a way that they are minimum and self-sustaining so you don't leak the behavior of one class into another you have clear separate borders where you um, call each other in the context which you need to create but let's see did I ah, okay so you see it, it pays the test let me run all of my tests some somehow strange strange enough time ticker tests it should run all three of my tests all right cool all pass and then when I start the project I can really enjoy the result let's see and wait takes a while to spin the project all right so now the game is started and now I can manipulate the game and it's clearly and obvious that it works so how fast I can do that and hopefully okay play again so th it works and I conclude once again I wish uh, for the newbies it's it probably will be pretty big and step curve to jump uh, to jump into the source code I'm not sure why in the book the code presented like really uh, without better pretty formatting I'm missing that a lot but anyhow continue with learning thank you for watching